When I started my tshuva, I tried to learn from a lot, a lot of books, and I, I didn't felt like none of them were talking to me. And I read important books, amazing books, inspiring books of huge righteous people, famous books, and they didn't talk to me. They didn't spoke to me. Only when I opened, and I'm, I'm, I'm an Israeli. I'm speaking Hebrew from from the, the early years, and I remember that I said that the books of Rabbi Nachman of Westlev, they are written in Hebrew. Them I can understand. <coughs> All of the books are written in Hebrew. Yeah, but I couldn't understand them. I couldn't. Those books are talking to your soul. Why? How? How come? In the generation of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, 200 years ago, they were talking Yiddish. In Uman, in Breslev, in all of those areas in, in, in Ukraine, they were talking Yiddish. They were not talking Hebrew. You open the Likutei Alachot that's been written by Rabbi Nathan, you think it's someone from Batyam wrote that book. You can't, it's, it sounds Israeli. You can say, you, he can write over there. Weird, weird words that are being used today. How can it be? When the person, he really wants something and he's working hard and he's preparing the vessel to contain the light, he really wants to, to nullify himself to Hashem Barach. so then Hashem Barach is creating a place inside of his heart. Because in the path that you want to walk in, they're going to lead you in that path. If you're going to want to purify yourself, really to purify yourself, you can become to be like Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. And we're not exaggerating. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev himself, he said that. He said, I can make you to be exactly like me, like I am. If you will want. Only if you will want. If you will want the truth, not the titles, not the honor, not the respect, not the money, not the world to come. Only when you're ready not to live in the world to come, then you're really ready to live in the world to come. Only when you're ready to accept every moment of your life and to live in that moment forever. Even if this moment is a moment of crazy suffering, wild suffering that no one can understand, that no one can describe, that no one can, can, can go through that suffering. Only if you're ready to live with Hashem Barach in that moment forever, like that moment, to be with Hashem in that moment, in that position, in that sorrow, with that pain, forever, that calls eternal life. Only that you can call eternal life. Only that. Only that you can call eternal life. When you want to live with Hashem Barach forever. How? However Hashem wants.